my speech, my informative speech this week is going to be about Iraq and Syria, Al Qaeda, the new extremist group that they call ISIS or ISIL, and facts about us withdrawing too soon if we did. And this is the start of mine. So we went to war with Iraq after the 9-11 attacks against Al-Qaeda. Our mission was to free Iraq from tyranny and terrorists. It is argued that we left too soon. A new terrorist group has taken over in Iraq and Syria, and that's ISIL or ISIS. This group has killed Americans and felt their fellow Muslims. They have the same tactics that Al Qaeda used against us. They behead, or they beheaded our people, which two journalists and their own people. They crucify them. They torture them in public. Just if they don't follow or use the same beliefs that they have. And I'll give some facts about Al Qaeda, and then I'm going to give some facts about. ISIS. Al Qaeda is an Arabic word meaning base. It's an international Islamic terrorist group led by that was led by Osama bin Laden, who founded Al Qaeda along with Abdullah Azam in Afghanistan in 1988. Al Qaeda's administrative and recruitment foundation sprang from the associations of Muslim warriors that had formed in the early 1980s to fight the Soviet invaders in Afghanistan. These fighters later became the backbone of Al Qaeda's forces. Since 1991, Al Qaeda has launched several attacks on various Western targets. This includes suicide car bombings of the American embassies in Kenya and Dar es Salaam, Salaam, Tanzania on August 7, 1998. The suicide attack on the USS Cole and the port of Aden in Yemen, Yemen on October 12, 2000. The September 11 attacks on the Pentagon and the World Trade Centers in the United States in 2001 and the suicide attack in Saudi Arabia on May 12, 2003 when American-led coalition forces invaded Iraq on March 20, 2003 Al-Qaeda linked groups swung into action on October 21, 2004 they united as Al-Qaeda in Iraq under the leadership of Abu Musab al Zarqawi, a Jordan who was killed by American forces on June 7, 2006. Now I got some, a few facts on ISIS or ISIL. It's the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant jihadist group, which spearheaded a sweeping militant assault that overran swatches of Iraq overran Iraq still doing it is now claiming leadership of the world's Muslims known for its ruthless tactics and suicide bombers ISIL has carried out frequent bombings and shootings in Iraq and is also arguably the most capable force fighting President Bashar al-Assad inside Syria but it truly gained international attention this month or last month it's August when its fighters and those from other militant groups swept through the northern city of Mosul then overran major major areas of five provinces north and west of Baghdad this was led by the shadowy Abu Bakar al Baghdadi and backed by thousands of Islamist fighters in Syria and Iraq, some of them Westerners, and it appears to be surpassing Al Qaeda as the world's most dangerous jihadist group. One of the Westerners was um, 
they believe is a British I guess he was a rapper and he's the one that beheaded one well both of the journalists and so they're dealing with all that England Britain they're uh, strengthening their passports or pulling passports from people that they think has joined this extremist group but um, another fact is President Bush predicted if we withdrew too soon that we would be back fighting a more powerful organization I'm gonna read his speech I know some in Washington would like us to start leaving Iraq now to begin withdrawing before our commanders tell us we are ready to would be dangerous for Iraq for the region and for the United States <clears throat> it would mean surrendering the future of Iraq to Al Qaeda it would mean that we'd be risking mass killings on a horrific scale it would mean we allow the terrorists to establish a safe haven in Iraq To replace the one they lost in Afghanistan. It would mean increasing the probability that American troops would have to return at some later date to confront an enemy that is even more dangerous. And that's where we're headed now. Uh, we haven't really set, we haven't put boots on ground yet, but we are doing airstrikes and President Obama has done some missions where we rescued some Iraqis that were stuck on a mountainside that were running out of food running out of water and the enemy was closing in on them so we rescued as many as we could and we we gave them supplies we saved we saved thousands now during Obama's campaign he promised to bring the troops home and this this was his speech by any measure this has already been a long war for the men and women of America's armed forces and for your families this war has been one of the most extraordinary chapters of service in the history of our nation you have endured tour after tour after tour of duty you have known the dangers of combat and the lonely distance of loved ones. You have fought against tyranny and disorder. You have bled for your best friends and for unknown Iraqis. And you have borne an enormous burden for your fellow citizens. While extending a precious opportunity to the people of Iraq under tough circumstances, the men and women of the United States military have served with honor and succeeded beyond any expectations now that's all the facts that I can give I, I have my own opinions I will give my opinion on a later date but will we go back to Iraq and actually fight the fight a battle that we didn't finish is pending. Thank you for your time.